This is the Buhawi Project. Buhawi, which stands for Building a Universal Mount for Heavy Barrel Automated Weapon Integration, is a fully automated remote weapon station armed with a 50 caliber heavy barrel machine gun designed to improve the firepower capability of the Philippine Navy. Promoting the adage, Gawang Pilipino, para sa Pilipino. Buhawi is a collaborative project undertaken by the Department of Science and Technology with the Metals Industry Research and Development Center, the Department of National Defense with the Philippine Navy, and the Mechatronics and Robotics Society of the Philippines, which started through a memorandum of agreement signed in 2018. As the implementing agency, DOSC MIRDC funded and led the first phase of the project in 2019, which included the design and development of Buhawi's mechanical system. On the other hand, the second phase was funded by the Philippine Navy, enabling the creation of the control system design, including peripherals, motors, military-grade cameras, and other requirements. In order to prove the project's functionality, reliability, and durability, a series of land-based live test fires were conducted with the Naval Sea Systems Command, together with the Naval Research and Technology Development Center. With the success of the project during the land-based tests, the next step undertaken was installing Buhawi onto one of the Navy's patrol crafts, BRP Heracleo Alano or PC-376. Together with the Naval Combat Systems Center and the crew of PC-376, the installation and debugging phase followed along with the fabrication of the floating target to be used during the test fire. On April 4, the first sea trial for the Buhawi project took place in the vicinity of Corregidor Island. To ensure the safety of local fishermen during the test fire, a separate Navy crew on board an MPAC vessel was deployed to secure the Gunnex area. Meanwhile, at the PC-376, Navy and MIRDC teams alike prepared for the firing sequence to commence. Once cleared, the firing sequence at different intervals in varying distances began. Beginning at around 2 in the afternoon, the day fire sea trial ended around sunset. With the successful day fire, the next endeavor was to test Buhawi's effectiveness during the night at sea. Starting at around 2 in the morning, the current sea state proved to be quite a challenge to the Buhawi. However, after a few more attempts, target was locked and shots were fired. Mula sa akin natatuyuan natin ngayon, no? more or less uh, 50 meters yung distansya natin mula sa PC-376, yung barko na lulan yung Project Buhawi. Para matingnan o masuri kung uh, kaya ba talaga mag-operate ng Project Buhawi sa gabi sa gitna ng karagatan. In order to ensure Buhawi's full operating efficacy at night, another test fire activity was done. This time, not only was the target acquired, the floating target sunk due to the hits it sustained. I am Lieutenant Commander Jimmy Jr. P. Limana, Philippine Navy, and I am the Executive Officer of PC-376. For the past two months, we conducted a series of sea trials for the Puhawi weapon system, and we tested it in both day and night operation as well as in the various sea state up to sea state 3. Sea state 3 means that the waves is around 1 meter high and 
the wind condition is around 10 knots. There are challenges encountered in the sea trials, but nevertheless, the Buhawi weapon system is tested successfully. With this, the joint project is envisioned to reach a phase wherein more Buhawi units can be locally manufactured, proving that Filipinos can create and develop defense technologies that are at par with the current global trends. Surprisingly, the Buhawi weapon system is better in terms of accuracy compared to the other or similar weapon system that we acquired through our modernization. And I would say that the Buhawi weapon system can be at par once the Buhawi weapon system reaches its mature state, it will become one of the fixture of every Philippine Navy gunboats in the future. With its automated capability, Buhawi aims to reduce the risk to life among military personnel during combat operations. Similarly, this vision promotes the Self-Reliant Defense Posture or SRDP program of the Department of National Defense wherein the main thrust is to become self-sufficient in manufacturing weapons, small arms, ammunition, tactical communications equipment, basic land vehicles, small sea crafts, among others. With the Buhawi project trial success, technology transfer is set to take place accordingly. As the Philippine Navy embarks on another year to perform its mandate to achieve maritime security, the Buhawi project is but a clear manifestation of the organization's intent to optimize its resources. Partaking in a collaboration with both public and private sectors on the other hand is an indication that the Navy welcomes the application of a whole-of-nation approach to fulfilling its mandate.